Hey guys, what's up? It's been a while. I am just tuning in with you to let you know what has been going on with me. Um, so I obviously have not been present for a while. Um, I've had some stuff going on in my personal life that I've really been struggling with. So this is kind of my video talking about it. Sorry about the swatches. I just <laughs> filmed another video. Um, this is me getting ready to talk about it. So the reason I haven't been posting is um, last year, my grandfather who raised me got really, really sick. And it's been the norm for him for the past couple of years. He'll get really, really sick and then he'll get better. And then he'll go home and he'll be fine for a while. And then he'll get really, really sick again. He has a bunch of different health concerns. Um, so that's part of, like, why he gets sick all the time. He had, like, Parkinson's and a bunch of other problems. And um, real quick, I just want to apologize for the quality of this. I am on my phone. <laughs> My camera is being super weird and it didn't delete or it didn't record the first time that I did this. So here we is. Um, anyway, so he got really, really sick, but this time it was different. This time when he went to do kidney dialysis, he got a staph infection and it was in his blood. So they treated that, got him better try dialysis again. Um, dialysis wasn't working because he kept getting staph infections. They did this probably two or three times before they called it and they were like, hey, you know, there's nothing more we can do. Um, and I really struggled with that. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, he was just a really important person to me. And to see him suffer was really difficult. I only saw him once while he was in the hospital. I didn't get to see him when he was in hospice. Um, my sister that I don't talk to, uh, Carissa, she came up to see him. And I didn't know when she was going to see him. And I was just so terrified of running into her. <laughs> because I have a tendency to forgive people who shouldn't be forgiven. Which, that's a whole other story if you guys want to know about that. I'm more than happy to tell you about it. Don't really want to air my dirty laundry out there, but I want to be 1000% transparent with you and honest about everything. So maybe that's a story for another time. But she was up there with her abusive boyfriend who also has threatened to kill me and my children. So I was just too terrified to go and see him one last time. And, uh, and he passed away. And I fell into a really, really dark place. It was really hard to talk about. <laughs> I fell into a really, really dark place where I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to keep up with myself. I didn't shower. I didn't do makeup. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I just kind of existed. I gave up on... The beauty community, I gave up on everything that made me happy. And through it all, so far, you guys have not given up on me. I posted a little bit to like Twitter and Instagram, TikTok. Um, I just haven't posted on YouTube in a really long time and I'm, I'm really, I'm so sorry. I know that I should keep my personal affairs out of my business affairs, but... <laughs> It's kind of, kind of difficult when those personal affairs are feeling so great that you can't surpass them. So, um, he passed away last month and I have just been really, really, really struggling with it. Um, passed away end of November, I believe. And then we had his funeral early December and he was cremated and the service was beautiful. And I'm so thankful for that. And it was just so stressful. I know it's really selfish, but it was just so stressful for me because I don't talk to my family and I had to see all of them. All of them. 
even the ones that caused me so much pain that I tried to end my life. But I was there, and I said my goodbyes to my grandfather because that is what was important. He was an important man in my life, and I loved him dearly. So, that being said, um, this is my apology video, my I'm back video, my make the choice to go on video, whatever you want to call it. But I'm here. I'm breathing. I'm choosing to go on with my life. And I'm choosing to do something that makes me happy that would have made him proud. And I am excited and nervous to be back. So thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, I'm already crying again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> all the support that you guys have shown me. Um, not giving up on me, staying subscribed. All of you that have been there and not left. Thank you so much. It means the world to me. And I'm so thankful for all of you. Every last one of you. So again, thank you for sticking around. And if this is your first time seeing me, I'm sorry that I wasn't there sooner. But I also want to end this on a note. A serious note. Um, I was so depressed that I debated taking my own life. And someone I don't know reached out to me and said, Hey, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. And just that one person made such a difference in my life, made such an impact that I want to move forward and share that. And I want to be that change. So if you or anyone you know is going through a really rough patch in life and they're down and they feel like they can't go on anymore, send them my way. I love you. I'm here for you. When you feel like nobody else is there, when you feel like you can't go on, when you feel like you can't pull yourself out of that hole, I'll be there. The rope ladder. And that big old ball of tequila. But honestly, I will be there for anybody that needs me. So just send me a message. Send me a comment. Send me a friend request. Send me anything. And I will read it. I will be there. I'll respond to you. We can exchange numbers. But just know you're not alone. You're not alone and someone cares for you. Even if that someone is only me. Thanks so much for listening, staying, sticking around, believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. And thank you to my Twitter family because they have, they have been such an amazing support system. So thank you guys so much for being there, even though I wasn't really forthcoming about what was going on. Thank you guys. You, you'll never know how much I appreciate that. But I hope to show you by being successful and doing what makes me happy, and what would make my grandfather and you proud. Hope you guys have an awesome week. See ya.